Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I can't start my video because every time I start, one of my kids need me. So, um, gotta go check it out again. Okay, I'm back. I think I got him settled down. Now, I'm just going to put a little makeup on because I'm taking him to his doctor's appointment. By the way, if you're new here, I just had a baby. This would be week six, so he's six weeks old. I'm taking him to his second doctor's visit this week, and then I also have my six week checkup this week. So, first of all, I wanna get myself a little put together because the eye bags are real, okay? Yeah, doesn't sound like he's kinda settled down, okay. He's over there, my daughter's talking to him, so he might stay quiet a bit. I'm just putting on some tinted moisturizer. It just gives my skin a nice little glowy. But you guys, I have missed vlogging, but I just didn't know like what to vlog because I wasn't doing that much and I was just recovering and whatever. But now I'm just back to the normal, just doing life. So we have that and yeah, it's been great. Recovery was amazing with him. Like I did not have any pain whatsoever. Everything went so, so smooth with having him and everything. Like it went so great. I recovered so good. And yeah, I was like so impressed with myself this time around because I feel like it comes from working out a lot too because I literally worked out for four years before I got pregnant again. So I feel like that was a big, big help. I'm doing well, I'm recovering well. I'm taking it, like giving myself some grace or whatever with things like my house kind of isn't the neatest right now and I don't like try to make myself having it have to have it like perfect or whatever because I was used to having everything put away everything how I like it or whatever and now it's kind of like you know you have time whenever you have time and my husband helps me out when I need it. And in the meantime, I just try to tell myself it's just toys, you know? They're just toys on the floor. It's not that bad. And then some days it doesn't get to me and other days it does. Sometimes when you're a mom, motherhood looks like this. Just holding a baby doing your makeup while your other kid whines that she wants to do makeup too. And a little bit blush. Maybe I'll put a little glitter on my eyelids just for, just for something different. You know, I love when I go out of the house and I just put myself together a little bit because I feel like so much better. And that's the finished look. Just simple, like natural way. That's what I do. But he is like sleeping now. Are you sleeping? Nope, he's awake. Okay, I think it's time to get in the car and get going. Then I also need to pack my diaper bag. So I put some diapers in there. Every time I leave, I put more diapers in because it's just easier. I have these little shoes that I put on him. I need to get him a hat because it's a little cold. Then I put a pacifier in the car seat with him and then I have like one extra one in the bag. I also put nursing pads in here, wipes in here. And then what else do I need? Oh, I know what I need. I always take my, I like just breastfeed. Literally, that's all I do. And then I just, have like my pump that I take along in the car just in case he gets hungry and I can't like pull over and nurse him. So I take my breast pump along and a bottle and I just keep it in the bag. 
and then I've already pumped. I already fed him a bottle like three times. I just pump, put it in here, and give it to him, like going down the road. So yeah, there's that. This in here too, and my wall lot of cars, and these little shoes for him. Then there's my packed bag, and I just lug it over my shoulder and go. Okay, you guys, I am on it. Oh, shoot, I missed my turn. Aww. Okay, I'll turn around up here, I guess. I'll go down here and turn around, I guess. But I was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got some big holes in here, girl. Oh, here's another real life scenario for y'all. So you always have to figure out like a half hour earlier because the kids get hungry and then you have to like pull over and feed them or like the babies. So I'm literally sitting in the parking lot. I am 20, 25 minutes early. So I'm here 25 minutes early and I'm just feeding him before I go in because he was not happy to be in his car seat. He did not like it. And he just started like two minutes before we got here. So he was fine the whole way, except for like two minutes before we got here. And now he's eating. So yeah, I just sit here for like a half, or like I have 20 minutes. No, right now I have 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes to feed him before my appointment. So, and he's pooping. My life. Are you all better? Hey, Olivia, can you turn your tablet off, please? Right here. I got it for you. Okay. Let's turn her tablet off. I don't think I'm going to put him in his car seat again because he pooped, so I'm just going to carry him in, okay? So let's take your seatbelt off. There we go. Let me write that. And then we got to change his diaper first. Where is... Yeah, we gotta go in and change your diaper before we go into the doctor, honey bunny. Actually, I think I'll use this. Take a blanket. There we go. Wrap you up like a burrito. Let's wrap him up like a burrito. I think he doesn't like being a burrito. I don't think so either, but you know. We don't want him getting cold either, so he just has to be a burrito. My one month old baby is literally 22 inches long and he weighs 11 pounds. He is like getting so chunky and big. He's doing good. We brought sister along and she can't stop kissing him, but he is under here because we have to take all his clothes off and all that stuff for them to check him. So we weighed him now and measured him and he is pretty big. Yeah. Are you big? Are you a big baby? And in there, that literally cost me $250 just to get him weighed and measured. And then they like check their hips and stuff. So it costs you $250 just to do that. So then you can come back every two months, I think she tells me. She, she doesn't make me come back as often because she said that he is like so he grows so good like I have no concerns or anything and he eats good he's growing good everything he does is like good and unless I have concerns and then I should come in before but in the meantime I don't have to come back until it's like two months so now we're gonna go get Duncan because I was gonna get Duncan before but he was just crying and I do not like going through drive throughs when like kids are crying or whatever so I'm gonna try it again we're gonna see if it works this time so let's go get some Duncan tired as ever. I'm wearing the baby because I need to get my work done today. Um, my house is a mess from yesterday because yesterday was Sunday. So I like 
didn't do my dishes because I was not feeling it. He was very cranky yesterday because I ate some pizza and apparently he does not like pizza sauce. So I knew that already, but I still did it. So there's that. I'm not as tired as I look. I just had mascara on yesterday. And every time I wear waterproof mascara, then when I wake up, it kind of like smudges over my eyes and makes me look tireder, okay? So I'm not actually this tired. I'm currently folding my laundry and then I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to be making myself a little prayer room. Me and my husband went to a little prayer area where we have like all our Bible study stuff and all that because it would just be so much like easier to have all your stuff there than you go in there. You have like your, you know, chill vibe or whatever. So I'm gonna be doing that as soon as I'm done with folding these clothes. The baby is still sleeping. He went to sleep at 12 and it is currently two and he's still fast asleep. So that's good, but I'm just gonna finish folding this up. And then we're gonna get into making this prayer room. This is where I'm gonna have my little prayer corner. I'm gonna put this brown paper on this wall here so we can just like write our prayers and stuff on the wall and then we can stick sticky notes on it too whatever i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna move this stuff out here and since olivia is so excited about this i'm gonna put like a little pillow down there for her and she oh my gracious are you okay then she can have her little prayer corner in that little corner how about that you like that idea olivia okay so, we're going to get started, and while we do this, we're going to worship, okay? So, we have Olivia here, see, and he likes it. the baby. He likes it, Mama. I see. I stuffed the blanket around here because his head likes to, like, move around. So, I stuffed it around there because I want his head to, like, not go crooked because it gives me, like, you neck pains you myself. Keep but... Oh, no, that actually fits him. That's kind of cute, huh? Can the baby keep it? Sure. Did you make it for him? Yep. So my sister-in-law went to Walmart this morning. That's why I was watching her little son. So I got her to get me some things. So let's do a little haul. Garbage bags, I have one more left. And I literally have a bag of garbage every single day. Like I do. I have this, this band-aids. And this is for kids little Bible class lesson thing that I'm doing for them uh, tomorrow night. to do something with these band-aids for them, which is gonna be cute. I got cream of tartar to make Play-Doh with. Ketchup ranch. A thing of bread. A thing of oatmeal, because I pretty much eat oatmeal every morning for breakfast. And this is like the fastest thing to make. And then I got a box of wipes, because I am down to my last pack. I used to get Hello Bella, but they did not have that. So she got me these. I never had these before. These are Rascal and Friends. They look cute, so pretty sure they'll work. And I got two boxes of Chex Mix, and I'm going to make protein puppy chow with these. Saw this girl on TikTok make it, and I am addicted to it now. So I love it, and it's like one of my favorite snacks now. So maybe if you guys want, I can share me making it so you guys know how to make it, but love that for me. Did you just wake up from your nap, huh? Luca, did you just wake up from your nap? Yeah? Oh, you're gonna grin at mommy? Oh. oh. He's getting so fat and big already. Yeah. He's getting so big and chunky. Mm. Olivia, what? what do you think of your new baby brother that we got? 
Well, he's amazing and he's cute and he looks at me. He's amazing, he's cute, and he looks at you. Yeah. And do you like being a big sister? Yes. So you're glad mommy and daddy had a baby brother for you? Mm -hmm. Well, not really. You're not really glad? Well, I am a little bit. You're a little bit glad? Yeah. Are you jealous sometimes? No. You're not? No. No, you're not. You're a very good big sister. Now, I'm going to go have my puppets. Okay, you play with your puppets. So she has been doing amazing. Like she hasn't gotten jealous anytime yet. She always is so obsessed with him. She like goes to him every morning. She's like, where's my baby brother? She likes to cuddle with him every morning. And she does so, so good. I'm so proud of her for like adjusting with having a new baby and all. So yeah, I don't know. She might still get jealous at some point, but I don't, I feel like she's good. She loves him. She has fun with him, like she loves cuddling him and holding him and all that fun stuff. But I just wanted to get a little interview of her telling you guys how she feels about her brother. But let's get to work on that. I put him down to sleep. He's just on the couch. She's looking at a book and he's playing with some toys. I'm now I'm going to try and do... Now I'm gonna try and do all my dishes over there. Huh. I did all my dishes, I got them all done, and now I want some coffee, and I'm gonna use this cup. The world's best boss. Me! If they're going crazy, it is 1.57 and I need coffee. package you guys I got another nursing bra they have my favorite ones on Amazon and I also got these little Bible things to put in my Bible I got these I wanted them for a while and I finally ordered them Look. I think you guys are getting a little too crazy anyway, I got these to put, it's, the, it's the books of the Bible so got these to put in my Bible Shoo, 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 shoo